Part Two of Belle's Makeover. Belle gets a new dress. In this video, I show you how to make Belle's red dress. I will also show you how to make her yellow dress in Belle's Makeover Part Three. Because our channel is primarily for children, I design doll clothes that are easy to make. These two dresses will require sewing, but once you learn how to make these dresses, the possibilities are endless. Let's get started. This beautiful dress is similar to the dress Belle wears in her movie, The Enchanted Christmas. The inside skirt is the same skirt from Bratz Megan's Makeover Part Two. This is the pattern I used. To see how I made this pattern, click on the i card or the link in the video description. Pin the pattern to the fabric and cut. And here it is. For this skirt, I need to make a casing for the elastic. Fold the waist down half an inch and pin it down. Start with a couple of stitches to make sure it's secure. I'm using red thread and making big stitches so you can see better what I'm doing. Normally, I would be using matching thread and making smaller stitches. Anchor it really good at the end. For the waist elastic, I'm using Christmas elastic ribbon used for gift wrapping. Push it through the casing. Any thin elastic will work too. Tie the ends loosely for now. Next, I'll be making a pattern for the front of the dress. One inch across and go three inches down, mark the middle. It's a long skinny triangle shape. Pin it to the fabric and cut. Keep this triangle pattern for another dress. I'm using Fabric Fusion to glue on the trim. It doesn't matter if the trim hangs over. Next, the outside skirt. I need to make a pattern for it. This is wrapping paper. There's a one inch grid on the inside to help you measure and cut. With the paper folded, Fold the paper into a triangle like this. Measure and mark 11 and a half inches across the top and along the fold. Pivot the ruler from the corner and make 11 and a half inch marks all the way to the top edge like this. Connect all the marks and cut. From the corner, measure and mark two inches like this. Connect all the marks and cut. This is the pattern for the outside skirt. The fabric I'm using is a stretch velour. It's a beautiful fabric, and the nice thing about it is the edges don't fray. Pin the pattern to the fabric and cut. Keep all the patterns. You'll be using them again. Turn the fabric over. I'll be making a casing for an elastic here, just like I did for the inside skirt. Start in the middle and fold half an inch and pin it down. Do that right around the entire waistline. The ends won't match up, but that's okay. Thread a needle with enough thread to go around the waist. I'm using yellow thread so you can see better what I'm doing. And this is done exactly like the inside skirt. The casing is done. Push an elastic through and tie it loosely. And here it is. Now I need to make a pattern for the top of the dress. It's called the bodice. Five inches across and three inches down. 
See how handy this grid is? And cut. I'll be using this pattern a lot. Before I pin it to the fabric, I need to check which way the fabric stretches. This fabric stretches really well this way, but not so much this way. See? The pattern has to lay on the fabric like this. Pin it and cut. Save the pattern. Check to make sure it stretches in the right direction. Fold it in half and pin the edges. About half inch down, sew across the edge. There. Turn it right side out. This tube is the bodice. Next is the puffy peplin skirt. You'll need one and a half inch wide wired ribbon. Measure 11 and a half inches and cut. Fold it in half and measure four inches and mark it with a pin. Measure half inch from the end and mark it with a pin. Cut along the wire to the pins, like this. Cut off the ribbon diagonally from the bottom wire to the top wire. Do the same for the other side. Find the middle and mark it with a pin. Tie a piece of gold trim to the middle like this. Take the top wire and push it out the end. Hold on tight to it. Now push the ribbon down the wire. This makes a perfect ruffle. Do the same for the other side. Back to the bodice. Turn it inside out. The glue on the triangle piece is dry, and I'm going to attach it to the bodice. Pin the triangle piece to the bodice. Put in a few stitches to hold it in place, but don't go close to the edges or you'll see the stitches on the other side. Turn the bodice right side out. Fold the triangle piece over the edge. Push a needle through the middle to attach a ribbon rose. There's no need to stitch down the pointy end. The bodice is all done. And here's the peplin skirt. The inside skirt and the outside skirt. And a ribbon for her neck. Let's get this all on her. Pull up the bodice. It's going to be a tight fit, but that's good, because then it won't slip down. You can see why we need the stretch going the right way. Now for the inside skirt. Oops, the knot came undone. Tie it on snug, but not too tight. I want it to ruffle here, so hang on to the elastic and pull the skirt to the front. For the outside skirt, undo the knot and retie the elastic around her waist. Tuck the elastic under her inside skirt. Pull the outside skirt together, leaving a little gap. Now, to attach the peplin skirt. You want to align it right in the middle. So hold that corner against the middle of the bodice. Make sure the front is in the middle too. Get the wire ends together and twist. And twist the bottom wires together. Cut off the extra wire and fold the ends down. Tie a ribbon around her neck. And here she is. Belle in her enchanted red Christmas dress. Oh, she's such a beauty. Now that you know how to make this dress, you could make it in any color you want. Here it is in bright red and pink. 
Let's see how this looks on her. Wow, this looks like a Valentine's Day dress. Now that you've seen two versions of this dress, which is your favorite? The red and gold dress or the red and pink dress? Post your answer in the comments section or click on the i-card and take our poll. So happy you could join me in this tutorial. We'll see you in part three when I show you how to make the yellow dress. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click like. Check out these videos. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.